A limb station is nothing more than a decal that you put on the limbs of your bow to customize it. It's just a name made up by the guy who made them from one stringer. And I have to say I love these things. As you can see in the pictures, look at the different varieties. You are only limited by your imagination. Yeah, they got stock stuff, but you can also have them custom made. There are a few things you should know. You want to get them in matte. I ordered uh, limbsations in black and gloss, which you see in the pictures here. And the pictures hide it. The ink, all they're using is like a giant ink printer. And the ink on my gloss ones wasn't even. So there's like lighter patches of black and darker patches of black. So it didn't come out. But I've never had that problem with my mats, which are their standards. So if you get them, make sure you get the matte coating. The other thing you need to be aware of, especially if you're having one custom made, is resolutions. If you've done computer work and you've blown a picture up, you know how it gets all blurry the bigger it gets. So make sure you get a picture that can be stretched and blown up to the appropriate size. Now, what you're seeing now is what they call carbon fiber. I thought that would look cool on the back of my bow, and it was a standard one they have. But when I got it, you can see it, it just doesn't look like carbon fiber, for one. And it's also very blurry. It's because they took a picture and they blew it up and stretched it. Lesson learned right there. Like anything else, the first step is to clean it. And all I use is just some, you know, simple rubbing alcohol. You want to use something that doesn't leave any film, and alcohol is the best. Now, if you're using an old bow and you had those little felt silencers up there, make sure you get all that glue off. The other thing you want to do is make sure that limb is perfectly smooth. Because I'm telling you, any little dot or blemish will show up on your decal. One thing you should know, if you buy the standard decals, and my bow is 62 inches long, they're not long enough to fit the upper limb. As you'll see here, what I'm doing is measuring it, seeing which way it fits, and you'll see in the bottom by my thumb, there's just that little section. And how I cure that, I just leave the tip of the bow empty. You know, it's a little white spot, it doesn't bother me, but that's just one thing you should be aware of. The bottom fits, just not the top. The one great thing about these decals is you can peel them off and put them back on multiple times when you're trying to install them. Installation is pretty straightforward. Lay it on there and watch it. Now depending on the width of your bow, you may not have a whole lot of area to play with. But don't panic. As you see here, I started, I made a few mistakes, I just pull it up and I put it back down. Pull it up, put it back down. And what I found was if you secure the bottom a little bit, when you get the center in line, it works better. And you'll see it takes me a couple of tries to figure that out. And then once you do it, all you do is press it down with your finger, smooth it out, make sure there's no air bubbles. You just keep pushing the air bubbles out the side. You can lift it up a little bit if you want, and you're done. There it is. The final step is to trim off the excess. And there's not a whole lot of it, mainly down by the sight window. And I will say this, if you're gonna do it, make sure you get a fresh razor blade. If I could speak that help, wouldn't it? Fresh razor blade or a brand new X-Acto blade. A dull blade doesn't work well. And I like to hold mine at a 45 because I like just a little bit of the old white riser to show. You know, it makes it look like a little bit of trim. And it's really easy. And then once you're done, there you have it. Now you have a custom made bow.
I took both these bows to ETAR, and I cannot tell you how many comments I got, especially about my American flag one, about how cool it looked. You know, and everybody thought the bow came like that. So that's why I made this video. You want to customize your bow, Limsations is a great way. I love these, and I'm going to do it on every bow I have. Thanks for watching, and have a beautiful day.